Come on, let's get out of this. Where's the air shaft? Twenty minutes to get in and out before the next patrol. There's an iron grill covering the intake. Yeah. You manage it. It's a bit tight. I'll lead. Sterling, one of the champions. Possessing with Sharon McCready and Richard Barrett, incredible powers. Survivors of an air crash in the mountains of Tibet, where they met a people of an unknown civilization who mended their bodies and endowed them with fantastic skills, super qualities, remaining their secret, which they used to their best advantage as the champions of law, order, and justice. 
operators of the international agency of Nemesis. You know that man? It's Patterson, isn't it? That's it. General Carl Patterson. Top brass on defense at the Pentagon. Or perhaps I should say he was. That's right. I read in the press he was rather ill. That's it. Very ill. Now, yesterday, Richard called into this office, went through our files, and got all the information he could on him. Why? Well, that's what I was hoping you'd be able to tell me. Anyway, once I heard what Richard was up to, I decided to do a little checking up of my own. Because I've learnt in the past that it pays to keep tabs on you three. I contacted the American authorities this morning, and they immediately started an investigation. And already, one highly significant fact has emerged. General Patterson, or maybe the body of General Patterson, has been, um, well, I suppose the word is, stolen. He died? Well, apparently there's some confusion. The um, nursing home where he was staying certainly didn't hold out any hope for him, but um, no death certificate was issued. So there is a doubt. Then Richard's aunt or something? Well, he must be. And I'm sure you won't be surprised when I tell you that I want to know what it is. Well, where is he? Well, I checked on that too. He booked a room at a hotel in Puff Gerwen. You know it? I can't even say it. Well, it's a small village. Here, North Wales. I'm certain you could. Richard Barrett. Oh, yes, Mr. Barrett. I got your wire. I have a room all ready for you. Ah, good. Uh, if you could just sign the register, please. Thank you. Do you have a Frank Nichols staying here? Is he a friend of yours? In a way, why? Well, it's just that I don't quite know what to do about him. Oh? Well, he checked in here about a week ago. Didn't use his room that night. Came back the next day and wrote a few letters. Oh, and while I remember, he left a message for you. And then he went out again, and he hasn't been back here since. Well, his baggage is still here. His car's in the garage. I just don't know what to do about it. Does he say when he's coming back? Uh, no, no. No, don't worry. I'll be talking to him. You show me to my room? Oh, yes, of course. I want that message. Frank? Uh, took you long enough to get here. What's it all about? Easy. You only just got here. You look terrible. 
Uh, you want to know something? I don't feel too good either. Did you bring the juice? Good man. Oh, boy. I needed that. I figured you would when you wrote to say you were living rough. Rough? I'm living like an animal. I know I'm here somewhere. They've been hunting for me for days. And they came very close a couple of times. Why didn't you get out and call the police? Not a chance, baby. When that kid reporter wrote me. I knew there was a Pulitzer Prize story right here in this estate. The law opens it up. I'd have every press man in the world breathing down my neck. No, oh, sorry. This one is mine. Then why bring me up here? I need help to crack this. And it's your line of business. All right, tell me what you've got. Oh, and uh, I bought you some cigarettes, too. Thanks. Don't use them. Gasoline. They got an emergency generator built in the cellars. Anyway, like I said, a cub reporter down here in a local paper found something. He contacted me. He wanted to break into the big time. So he figured that Frank Nichols, the famous freelance journalist, would help him to get there. For a favor. Shows you what ambition can do for you. What is this mention of General Patterson? I'm coming to it. You know what cryobiology is? Deep freezing bodies. Yeah. So they can be brought to life again later. I always thought it was a science fiction idea. A few people have been working on it. I gather it's uh, not perfected by any means. I think it is. I think the people here have perfected it. If they haven't, they're going through an awful lot of trouble for nothing. They've got Patterson here. Or I should say, Patterson's body. Oh, come on now. Oh, I don't blame you. I had a tough time myself believing it. But I saw him, and the kid along with me saw him. And got killed for it. I'd like to take a look in there myself. Going inside again. You know another way? All right. I'd like it better if there's some more people along. I don't want to start a war. Just take a look. Okay. What is it? There's a car coming. I don't hear anything. It's coming this way. It's too early for the patrol. Cut the light. Yeah, I can hear it now. I don't think they'll check this place. Well, they're stopping. We'll split up. Have more chance that way. You can start it. We'll go together. No. I know this place pretty good. In the last week, I've used every piece of cover on it. I could take these guys off your back and still get out. You're just trying to square yourself with what happened before. We're the only ones that know what's going on here. Hang on. Oh, now, don't give me no arguments. Will you get out? All right. Here they come. Let's go out this way. Keep low, head north. Plenty of cover that way. I'll hold them for about three minutes, then I'll be right behind you. See you, Frank. Yeah, sure. I got something going that kept me alive all these years. I'm a coward. Come, move!
Okay. Get up, fella. I can't do anything to this till the morning. The store's closed, you see. Anywhere around here to hire a car? Not at this time. Where are you making for? Port Gerwin. The best thing you can do is book in at the village. You can phone from here. Your car will be ready sometime tomorrow afternoon. Well, that's too late. We're in a hurry. Most people are. There must be some way to get to Port Gerwin. Well, there's an early morning train. It's the only way, really. You can walk to the station down that way. There won't be anyone there now, but uh, there's a seat outside. Thank you. What about the car? Fix it. We'll have someone pick it up. Just as you say. Sorry, I couldn't be of more help. Get him out. Uh, get him out of here. What about the other one? We'll find him. Won't be easy. I'm not known watching the road. You have to break cover sooner or later. Will you kill him too? Depends. Depends on how much he knows. Two men have died here in the past week. Sooner or later, someone's going to start asking questions. We'll let them. It'll all take time. Three or four days is all we need to finish our work here. There was no need to kill either of those two men. We could have held them, kept them here prisoner till you were ready to pull out. You don't think I'm handling this very well, do you? If you want the truth, I don't think you were concerned about security at all when you murdered those men. You did it because you enjoy killing. Too bad. Too bad. I'm running this operation, Yates. And I'll run it my way. You can think what you like. But don't ever think it out loud again. Or I'll kill you. Something else you want to say? Come on, get up, get out! Get up with the others and find that man. Go on, get out!
Miss Calmont, I'd like a word with you. Couldn't it wait till later? I'm very tired. No, it can't wait. I want to talk to you now. Very well, what is it? Let's go inside. I can't give you any more time, Miss Calvert. I haven't got enough as it is. Positions change. I was hoping that I could comply with you. I appreciate your problems. But I'm concerned at recent developments. I want to get out of here as quickly as possible. And it's vital that the project is speeded up. I want at least 24 hours of completion time. That's impossible. It's got to be that way. Mr. Squires, this is not a factory. We're dealing in flesh and blood. You can't bring in efficiency experts and find shortcuts. All right, you've got your troubles. I've got mine, and mine's time. We've been into this before. I've already speeded up the process to a degree that is dangerous. Do so still further will mean certain failure. No, you're being overcautious. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Why would I purposely delay? Believe me, I can't wait to finish the treatment. Nothing will give me greater pleasure. Because then it means you'll be gone and we can get back to a normal life. Then we both got something to gain. But we must finish earlier. We had somebody in the grounds. For some reason, people are getting curious about this place. Did whoever it was get away? Yes. This time. But don't be too hopeful. We'll catch him before he can cause any real trouble. I hope he does get away. And brings the police here, eh? Well, if he does, you'll tell them your cover story as we planned. And what if they don't believe it? They've got to believe it. If they don't, you know what's going to happen, don't you? You'll give me those extra 24 hours, won't you? I'll do what I can. Fine. Fine. Thank you, Miss Kilmer. Who are you? What do you want? My name's Richard Barrett. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to know what's going on in this place. You're not one of Squire's men. I'm the uh, intruder he told you about. I listened to your conversation. You're the, the police? Not exactly, no. I can't offer you much hope, but I'm the only chance you've got. I don't know what you mean. Would you rather trust Squire's? No. Well, you told him, you told him you hoped I'd get away. I, I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. Tell me what he's doing here. Can you help me? Yes, of course I can. I can get out of here and call the local police if I have to. No, no it can't be done that way. Why don't you uh, sit down and start at the beginning? Now, tell me exactly who you are. Inge Kalmat. I'm a scientist. And you work here? I own the place. My father and I took it over two years ago. We needed somewhere to conduct our experiments. Somewhere isolated and very private. Experiments in the cryobiology field, hmm? Yes. Where do squires come into this? Well, we were running short of money. Yet said that... Squires man? No. Yates was working with us, with me. He said he would find somebody to back the project. He found Squires. And Squires put the money in? That was the idea. But he took over the place. He said he represented a medical foundation. And he gave us a large endowment. In return, we had to make some experiments. On? Well, the money helped. Using animals, we found that we could store their bodies at extreme low temperatures. Then, using the techniques we had developed, we could restore life weeks or months later. Yes. Uh, what happened then? Oh, yes. Well, Squires moved his thugs in and clamped a security net around us. What hold has he got on you? Look, if I'm going to help you, you've got to tell me. 
He's holding my father. I don't know where. If I don't do as he says, my father will be killed. Anyway, in two days it will all be over. Squires will have gone and my father will be released. You really believe that? I don't know. I don't know, but I have no choice. Quiet. Someone's coming. Can you get rid of them? Yes, I'll try. Somebody's got into the house. The bars on the window have been forced. I've seen no one. Well, he's in the house somewhere. Well, you can see for yourself there's no one in here. Look, try the other wing. You two come to the stairs. And don't think because somebody's got into the house that things are going to be changed. What do you mean? He won't be able to help you, is what I mean. So don't you get any bright ideas of trying to help him if you get the chance. Just remember what will happen to your father. Keep the door shut and stay out of the way. What is it? He is in here. Drop it! Oh, the girl gets it. Come on, raise your hands and walk this way. Come on, come on, come on, move! All right, so what happens now? I'll show you. Get a drug. Something that'll keep him quiet for a couple of hours. Go on, go on, get it! Here, get some rope. What are you giving him? How long will it keep him out? Five or six hours. Good. What are you going to do with him? Something you should find very, very interesting. I'm sorry that we arrived so early, but we had rather an adventurous journey. Oh, that's all right. I'm afraid the cook won't be on duty until eight o'clock, but uh, I'd be glad to make you some breakfast. Thank you very much, but no. We'd rather wait for Mr. Barrett to come down. We'll have something with him then. Mr. Barrett? Well, he isn't here. He went out yesterday evening. Did he say where he was going? Well, no. Oh, but he did ask quite a few questions about Melian research. Yes, he seemed very interested in the place. What's the temperature? Minus 70 and still dropping. Good. OK, close it up. We'll check him in an hour. He should be dead much sooner than that.
there is no answer here. If we're going to help Richard, then we have to get into Melian research. Check. And I don't see how we can do it. Sharon, you have a look at that place. No wonder they picked it. A couple of guards and it's absolutely impregnable. How about if we drive straight up to the front gate? Like tourists. We're lost. Something like that. You know, sometimes I'm too devious for my own good. It's worth a try, isn't it? It sure is. You said it would end as soon as the experiment was finished. I changed my mind. It'd be a shame to stop now. But you promised. Now listen to me. Scientists in the USA, in Russia, right here in Britain, have been trying to perfect a process that will suspend life indefinitely. Now you've made a breakthrough that changes all the old concepts of life and death. That's not so. A man who was dead is alive, but is kept alive only by machines and equipment. I cannot cure the illness that killed him. That won't be your job. Curative medicine has made big strides. New drugs, the technique of spare part surgery. What is important is that scientists, political leaders, businessmen need not die. Their bodies can be stored until a cure is found. Yes, that's perfectly true. But I don't see what you hope to gain from it. Money. A great deal of money. How? There won't be any lack of buyers when you consider what I'm selling. Immortality. If I give you all our notes, all the data, the experiment reports, will you leave us alone then? Yes, there's one thing more I want. I want a demonstration for my buyers. Are you thinking of using that man you caught last night for a demonstration? Exactly. He'll be dead by now. At least his heart will stop beating. His respiration will have ceased. His life is ended. You will restore that life. When? As soon as I've delivered General Patterson to my principals. Meanwhile, if you continue to obey orders, your father will be well treated. Not to look so depressed. If all goes well, you'll see your father in a few days' time. So much for driving up to the front door. A lock and a chain shouldn't stop us. Sharon, how are we going to convince anybody we're tourists when we go around busting open gates? I mean, I can't imagine that. But I'll do it anyway.
I'll do the talking. Good morning. I wonder if you could help us. We seem to have made a wrong turn somewhere. How did you get in here? Through a large gate about half a mile back. It was open? Well, yes. This is private property. You'll have to go back. But we can't. We've only just come through. Turn the car around and get out of here. Well, all right. Well, all right. <laughs> Crazy, I swear he's crazy. Squires? Yes, he just killed for the sake of killing. Well, who exactly is he? Look, I've got to know. Well, he's part of a big espionage operation. The government he's working for have given him all the operatives he needs. They're paying him a fortune. For what? They're giving him General Patterson. Patterson? He's dead. Patterson was the one man in the world who knew the entire United States defense system, every facet of it, right down to the last detail. While he was alive, he was protected. Day and night, nobody could get near him. And when he died, well, well nobody expects a dead man to be a security risk. That's it. Not so long as he stays dead. How did they get the body out of the country? Do you know? Oh, they had a lot of important people working for them. Well, if they can do what they seem to think they can and find a way to make him talk, well, he can give them the location of every launching pad, air base, nuclear store that works. That's it. How many men does Squires have working for him? About a dozen, but you'll never make it without help. Well, I've got to. I've got to get the girl out of here, too, but she won't move until she finds out what's happened to her father. Well, he's upstairs, but there's a guard at the door the whole time. Can you show me? OK. Top of the stairs on the right, third door long. You lead the way and see if you can get the guard away from the door. Hello. We're lost. Good morning. I'm sorry for the intrusion, but we were passing and saw this beautiful house. So the Marines have landed. You made a mistake. This is a research establishment. I don't have any authority to let you see around it. Can't you find someone who does? It's not possible. But uh, if you let me talk to the man in charge... Uh... I can be very determined when I want to be. Oh, you better believe that. Joey! Stay with these people, will you, while I talk to squires? This is where the action is going to start. You get in the room with the girl's father, stay with him, keep him alive until it's all over, you understand? Okay. How is he? As well as the equipment allows him to be. Pulse, heartbeat, respiration, all normal. Yes, what is it? We've got some visitors. Visitors? Some kind of tourist. I don't know how they got up here, but I didn't want to cause any trouble. I thought you'd better talk to them. Get rid of them. Look, I tell you, they're not going to move until they talk to somebody in authority. Oh, right. you better come too. If I don't have got past the guards, I want a full report. Sure. And get some more men in here, just in case it's another level. There's a gun on you from the doorway to your right.
I'm sorry if we've caused you any inconvenience, but we just had to meet the owner of this beautiful old house. Well, I'm sorry if I sound uh, inhospitable, madam. But this is a ministry research establishment. I don't know how you got in here, but you've broken the security law. I just ask you to leave at once. Security laws? What possible harm could we have done? Uh, more guards behind the door on the left. Nevertheless, you have broken the law. My men will escort you to the door now. Please. Hey, take your hands off the lady. Get in. What he's driving. How is he? Dead. What? He was dead the moment you took him from that room. Stop the car. Stop the car! Stop the car! He's going to be all right. Okay? Yeah, we'll let the police handle it now. You know, they certainly have something fantastic going for them. Immortality Incorporated. Don't let it fool you, Richard. Nothing's going to cure a chest full of bullets. I suppose we can keep ducking, as we always have. Mm -hmm. 